All right, welcome to class, everyone. You've all done your reading. Amigo Brothers. So what does amigo mean in Spanish? It means friend. So this is a story about two friends, and we're going to analyze this story. For any story to work, it needs to have certain elements, and we're going to look at those elements. The first one is characters. So every story is going to have characters. So these are the people involved, sometimes animals, but in this case, people. So who are our two main characters in the story? They're two boys. One is named, starts with an F, Felix. Right. And the other one is his friend, Antonio. What do we know about Felix and Antonio? So they're described in different ways, right? Felix, he is dark, he's short, he's husky. So these are characteristics that set him apart from Antonio, who is fair, that means light-colored, he's lean and lanky. So he is the opposite of Felix in terms of appearance. So you have a contrast here. And this is important when you have characters. In a story, the characters need to be unique in a way that will allow you to think of them differently. You know, if these two boys were described as being both dark, short, and husky, you wouldn't have much of an idea of which one is which, but they're they're opposites, but they're both described as being good boxers. So they have that similarity. All right, so these are characters. Now, we also have plot. That's the other main important part of a story is a plot. Now a plot needs certain elements. One is a conflict. Stories generally aren't interesting without a conflict. If everything is going just fine, it's a boring story. What is the conflict here? Yes, we have two boys beating each other up. They're boxing. But that's not really the conflict here. The conflict is between two ideals that these boys have to balance. One ideal is they're both boxers and they want to behave like a professional boxer should behave. That means they do their best to win according to the rules of the game and that means not being afraid to hurt each other because that's how boxing works. They're doing their best to win, and they have that as an ideal. That's something that they have to do in order to be a good boxer. But the other ideal is their friends. So they want to stay friends. Friends usually don't want to hurt each other. Right? But in this case, they have to hurt each other if they're going to be good boxers, but they have to stay friends. 
How are they going to do that? That's the conflict in the story. So the plot involves a narrative. Here's the conflict. Next you have a narrative. These are the events that happen. A lot of the story was narrative. Uh, Felix is punching. Antonio is punching. And they're dodging each other. And they're getting hurt. So when you have the narrative, the reader is pulled into the story. So as you were reading this, what sort of things were you wondering? Were you wondering who's going to win this fight? Right? That's what I was wondering as I was reading this for the first time. Who's going to win? And that's something a good story will do. It will cause the reader to have a, a question that he's reading in order to find the answer to. So who will win is one question. There's another question. Will the boys succeed in staying friends? Because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to win, but they're also trying to stay friends. Not hurt each other so badly that they're going to have grudges. Right? So, will they stay friends? And in the end, these questions get answered. Sort of. Right? The who will win didn't really get answered. That's the cliffhanger. But there's a reason for that. Can you guess what the reason is? The reason is that wasn't the most important question. Will they stay friends is the question that gets answered. And the author is showing that that was the most important question. They stayed friends. And even though we didn't find out who won, that was the real point of the story. So the resolution is at the end of the narrative. The resolution is where the plot comes to a climax and you get the conclusion. So the resolution is when the two brothers hug and walk off the stage. And it's not what anyone expected. And in that resolution, you get the point of the story. So you can think, how would I have done in this situation? And what lessons are there in this? So this was a well-written story, and this is the way that we can analyze a story like this and see its um, different parts. All right?